Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I am so excited for this video. I have been wanting to set aside some time to reset my planner and what better time to do it than on the 1st of June. So it is the first day of winter here in Australia. So I have myself a hot tea as well as a candle for some ambience. And it's just going to be a nice relaxed afternoon um, doing a little bit of planning and giving my planner and my little pencil case a bit of a reset. So I've just finished work, I've gotten into my comfies and I'm just really excited. This to me is self-care and I'm hoping that by the end of this whole exercise I will feel much um, more at peace when it comes to the things that I have on my mind because at the moment I do have a lot on my plate and I really need to kind of set aside some time to do a little bit of planning. So if you haven't already, make yourself comfortable, maybe even grab your planner as well and do this reset with me. So with me I have obviously my planner and my pencil case. Now I do have a larger pencil case full of pens and highlighters and I would like to give this a little bit of a reset as well because there are some pens that I use more than others and I would like to kind of change them out. And then here I have a cloth and paper box. This is actually what my planner came in and this is what I use for all of my spare kind of planner accessories. So I've just got that there in case I want to kind of add um, things to my planner, which I will need to do. So that's everything that I have laid out. But the first thing I want to do is take everything out because guys, this is piling up with lists and sticky notes and I just need to take everything out. Um, same goes for here. And that way I'll have a clear space to kind of reset my planner. Okay, that is the planner completely empty. At this point, you probably could give your planner a little bit of a clean if you wanted to. Mine doesn't look too bad, um, and I did give it a little bit of a wipe down before I started filming, but I absolutely love this planner. I did purchase it from Cloth and Paper. It is a beautiful leather. I went for the black um, spiral. They do have it with gold as well, um, but I was kind of just wanting an all black look. And yeah, I absolutely love it. You do have one pen hole here. One thing I maybe wish it did have was potentially a zip here where I could put a few, just a couple of little highlighters and some other pens. However, in saying that, if I did have that, it may just bulk it out a little bit too much. So I am really happy with it and there's nothing wrong with me carrying around a small pencil case for my planner. So the first thing I would like to start off with is obviously putting in all of the sections that I find I use most often. Now those, the first one I want to put in is obviously my cover dashboard. This one I actually made myself using Canva. If you'd like to see how I created this dashboard, I'll leave that video link below. It is super easy. I just did it on Canva. And this is, here is my 2023 vision board. So the kinds of photos that really spark joy and inspire me. Uh, plus they kind of align with any goals that I had set out for myself this year. Plus I just um, cut out a little bit of clear kind of card. This I actually just found in my office and I just cut it to size. So I'm going to put that at the front and guys, I still love this. I'm not yet sick of this dashboard. So I am thinking come next year, if it still feels right to have all of these images for 2024, I'll simply just replace the, um, with a 24 obviously in Canva. So I'm really, really liking that. And I think it just goes so nicely with the black um, planner. Now I'm going to insert my monthly kind of planners. So I went for the week to view with May Paper Co and it has a tracker as well. So I'm going to flip that over. So there we have it. We've got my dashboard at the front and then we just go straight into the months. Now at the back, I am going to include my by Shannon Reynolds insert as well as my wish list because they're the only two sections. Also my budgeting actually, I'll leave that in the back. So we have my by Shannon Reynolds. I would actually, I might start to make a list of dashboards that I would like to redo. This one here is just a little bit dull for me. So I might redo that dashboard. Um, so notes in this section, I have just done a little bit of, um, I've got like a list of dream collaborations, best upload times, just things like that so I don't forget them. I have a section for designer trading. So obviously any handbag that I buy off the pre-love market and resell, I keep track of um, in there. 
Another section that I would like to add is of course my wish list. Now this I actually also need to include a few more um, pages too. So we have my wish list. Okay, so they're all the sections I use most. I am also going to insert this budget one. So this here is, I started it obviously at the start of this year and it was called the savings challenge and it's to save $10,000 by the end of the year. So basically every week you put away this amount here and here are my crosses where I've put that amount away. I obviously, I get paid fortnightly so I have to kind of double it up. But yeah, so far that's been really fun and it's working really well. Actually, I don't really need a dashboard for that. I think I'm just going to keep the clear one there because that way it's just something that I need to refer to. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. Now that I have all of my inserts in, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my stickers and any kind of accessories over on this side. So something that I've really been loving is this beautiful Gucci card that my friend Lou gave to me and I really have enjoyed having it here to add a little bit of color to my planner so I might pop that one back there the clip that I was using um, is looking a little worse for wear so I might just get a new one these are just some gold um, paper clips I purchased a long time ago so I just like to put that there adds a little bit of color it's funny going through this stuff because I kind of forgot I had a lot of these so I'm going to keep this one. These I actually got from my Function of Beauty order and they just have the most beautiful little stickers. This one there kind of looks a little bit like Remy. So I thought I would keep them with my planner. I've really been enjoying using these little stars. Again, these are from my friend Lou. She's sent me the most beautiful planner accessories, literally like all of them. Um, I find I use these little dots and these little stars a lot. Um, the stars I tend to use for days off, public holidays, um, just so at a glance I can see in my week which day I have off. We've also got these beautiful page flags. These I haven't used as much as I would like to. They're so beautiful. They go with my planner really well. I am thinking of using them more. I just need to work out how I can utilize them in the way that I plan. God, there's dust everywhere. So I might keep these in here as um, a little bit of a reminder to use them. And then these I use a lot of. These are um, transparent sticky notes and I absolutely love them. Again, from my friend Lou, um, they are so beautiful and I just keep them in the side here. And yeah, like I said, I use them a lot. So there you have all of my stickers and accessories that I really like to use. Now I'm going to go through my pencil case and then once I've done all this, I can go ahead and start planning. So what I'm going to do is tip this out and I really want to make sure that whatever I have in here, I use a lot. This here is like my favorite pen of all time. It is just a pilot pen with the fine um, ballpoint and it is the best. And the best part about this is with your planner, it's not inky, so you can use it and it's not going to smudge everywhere. And I've got these mini kind of um, whiteouts and my favorite, all time favorite um, highlighters are these mild liners so I'm gonna keep those in there like I said I've got a whole pencil case full of pens which I am going to go through and work out which ones I can add to my kind of little collection so they're just pencils in there I need to get some more of these black ones so I'm gonna leave that in there this pen is really nice as well it's quite inky but not too bad and it's just super fine. So um, that's just a really cute one my sister gave me. I've got my white out, I've got my mild liners. I do have some beautiful pens here that my friend Lou gave me in all different colors. They're all different ballpoint pens. I might keep the pink in there. So there's only a few pens in there, but that's all I need. A few highlighters, a few pens and some white out. I really would like to get a couple of pens where you can kind of erase what you've done. I think that would be super handy. So now that we have my planner all reset with my pens, I'm going to spend some time doing a little bit of planning. So I've made a list of things that I would like to plan for and include in my planner. And I'm thinking I'm going to start off with this week's planning and then obviously any kind of important dates or anything that comes to mind, I'll obviously be able to go through my planner and fill that in as well. Now for the focus of the month, I generally do this in dot points and I just mark a few areas in which I would like to focus on for the month. So 
Here I would really like to focus on running training. I would also really like to focus on um, repairing my arms. So that just means a lot of massaging and stretching. I've got here stick to content plan. So they're my focuses of the month, running, training, arm stretching and exercises and sticking to my content plan. I generally have a plan, um, but I need to just be a little more. So they are my focuses for the month. Sorry about the shadows guys. The sun has well and truly gone now. So we have my focus for the month, the master to-do list and any important dates, plus my little socials count, which I do at the beginning of every um, month. This is a very standard representation of a normal week for me. So I basically just like to ride out work, run, gym stretch, groceries. So not in too much detail and not I don't give certain times. I just know that on that day, they're the things that I would like to get done. If I achieve them, I will tick them. And if I don't, I put a line through it. Now, prior to filming this video, I did write out a list of things that I would like to include in my planner, something that I haven't included yet, but I would like to start incorporating. Things like a clean list, um, a home wish list, grocery and meal planning, and just any important things like I need to do a skin check. I, this was kind of a little bit of a brain dump when I was thinking about um, this video tonight. So what I'm going to start off with is I've inserted here this dashboard and just a lined piece of paper. And this is going to be my master to-do list at the start of my planner. So rather than on a particular day saying, you know, on Tuesday the 4th, I'm going to clean my car. I know for a fact, I know myself very well and I don't, I like to go with the flow and I don't always like to have, you know, sometimes something might pop up on that day or I'm caught up doing something else. So what I need to do is just whenever I have a spare moment in my week, if I find that on you know, on a Wednesday in the afternoon, I'm free. I'll go back to my master to-do list and have a look and see if there's anything that I can do whilst I have a little bit of free time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out my to-do list. I might include a few headings and I think that this is going to work really well with just making sure that I'm ticking those things off that I've always um, kind of had in the back of my mind and needed to do. So that is going to go ahead and finish this video. My planner is all reset. It's much tidier than it was earlier. Um, I also took a lot of um, mess out and I really am keen to sit down and definitely make a few more lists, especially when it comes to budgeting and things that I need to do. And this will be ongoing. Um, so now that that's all organized, I also have my iPad all charged up and ready to go when it comes to content planning. And then of course my little pencil case that has been kind of all organized. So I hope this video was informative enough for you. If you have any questions at all about anything mentioned in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I love having a planner evening. And if you don't already have a planner, I'll link all of this stuff below so you can get started because honestly, it is the first step to having a very organized, productive life. In my opinion, this has helped me so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in my next video. Night guys.